Uh, welcome to the uh, spiral handrail video. You know, uh, with stairs, you, uh, well, what do I got? Uh, H. You know, I, 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 if you watch the spiral stair videos, you understand what's going on here. Uh, here's, a, here's a handrail right here, and it's segmented. It's segmented because it's going up these treads. And I think if you ever do a curved or spiral stairs, you're going to get the segmented uh, handrail. And that's all right. I mean, if, if that's what, if that's all you need, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, then the, but the question is, how do you smooth it out? Well, I think Joe Carrick uh, does it in segments. But see, these are uh, these are actually uh, uh, what, uh, 90, 30, 30, These are thirty degree segments. I think he actually broke it down to uh, doing a molding poly three uh, D molding, a seven degree arc. And then transform replicating it at a 30 degree angle, which is the slope of your stairs, if that's the, the really the slope. And then he copies them in, in the spiral and raises them up. So it looks almost smooth, but it's really not smooth. It's really just a bunch of little segments. And these are, as I said, these are, uh, I think these are one, two, three. These are, uh, what's 90, 30, these are 30 degree segments. Each one of these are 30 degree segments. He broke it down to seven and a half degrees. It's very smooth. All right, it's a lot smoother. Oh, here it is, right here. You, you can take this thing and you can transform, replicate it, and you could put it at an angle. I think that's what he did. I think that's what he did. But I, hey, there's a better way to do it. It's a it's a better way to do it. So let, let's let's do it a better way. And I say use a ramp. Uh, where's my stairs? Build stairs or ramp. Uh, build a ramp. There we go. But I want the ramp to be curved, so I curve the ramp. Boop. And now I just do this number here. And I think uh, if I was to do this, uh, let's see, uh, W. Let me see if I know how 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 I would want to do this too to make that. Yeah. See now, how, can I make that parallel? I hear the deal is I want this to be at a 90 degree angle, okay? I mean, can I even do it? I should be able to do uh, two to make it. Can you not make that thing parallel? Let me try. Let me try it again. Uh, build ramp. Uh, build stairs ramp. Uh, come on, God, you... I just got in. I just don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Build. Where's my stairs? I, my, my, do I see them there? Edit. How do I build a stair? Oh, you dipsh. Uh, right over here. Ramp. Okay, go up like this. Now I want to uh, control alt. There we go. That's what I want to do. Okay. And um, I want to, I know I want it to be much smaller than that because I'm actually going to wrap it around this column right here, okay? I think I have a column right there, Control-C, Control-V, right there. So I take this uh, 9 to center it here, 9 to center it here. So I got this column. See, I, got, I, I just built that post right there. Now I'm going to take this thing right here, 9 to center it on this, and then I'm going to, ooh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now I think I can go nine point to point. One there. Now it's right on that line there. Now here's the problem area. Let's see if I can locate that right on. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So it's a, a 180 degree arc, okay? You and 180 degrees, I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to take a nine, four and a half U. So, I don't want automatic heights. I want the top height to be uh, uh, four foot six, fifty-four inches. The bottom height, blah blah blah. There we go. Now you've got your ramp right there, okay? And now you see all this funny stuff on the inside here. That's my uh, handrail. Well, I don't want a handrail on the left, you. So I get rid of my handrail on the. I go through this every time. I can never get this right on the first tab. I have to always fumble my way through it. Okay, so now I don't have the the handrail on the inside, right? Now I have the handrail on the outside. Now I want it you, and what kind of a handrail do I want? Um, 
That's interesting. Now, how do I get... Uh, Oh. Baluster type. Zero. How about zero? Ah, now I don't have any balusters. You, now I select it again, railing. I want my, oh, I don't want a null. I don't want any nulls. So I'll make those zero. Okay, you, now I really don't want a uh, top rail. I don't want a bottom rail, I mean. Okay, now I don't have a bottom rail. Now, there I go, okay. Now the one final thing is I want that to be round. How do I make it round? I don't know. Automatic rail openings, yeah, it has tread surface. Slope, I guess the slope's right. Oh, you think they, you think that you give uh, they give you an angle, but I guess you can always figure out the angle. Nules and balusters on the left include nope, nope, nope. Rail passes over null. I don't care about that. Oh, handrail, oh, you nitwit. Select. No. Oh. Let's see if I can select my handrail. Tick, 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 tick. Why is, oh, here we go. Architecture, molding, uh, handrail, round, okay. There, it's perfect. Okay, perfect. Now, you want a curved handrail? That's pretty darn, uh, is it pretty good? Yeah, it's not bad, man. And now, now what you do is you just take this thing right here, Control C, Control New, put a new, uh, a new plan, uh, uh, six to paste it in place. There it is, right there. Come over here, do an H view. Oh, you can't turn the ramp off because uh, in this case, the ramp is the ramp is part of the uh, handrail. So anyway, this is what you do: uh, uh, surface delete. It'll take you about two minutes to go through and get all, get rid of all these surfaces, and you'll just be left with a handrail. And you can make a symbol out of it. So now you got a nice, pretty curved handrail. Okay? And then, and then you got to get on the other side like this and uh, delete that. You know, you, you, you get the idea. And so you'll be left with a perfectly curved handrail, which is kind of cool. Now let's just try something else here, okay? Uh, I'm going to try something else. And this is another way of doing it, I think. If I come over here, straight railing, I don't want to fill in this thing. None. Uh, tab, tab. I want to curve that thing like this. And I want to do this. Oh, I know. Uh, nine. Oh, where is it? Oh, no, tab. Oh, here it is. Nine. To point. Nine to point to point. Perfect. Now I got my curved wall, okay? Now you think it's going to be the, the whole thing there? I, I might have to break this in half. No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Now look what, now, now look what I have. I should have, oh. I got to select, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, H. H. There. Okay, F6. So now you can see the railing that I've created, right? But the problem with that railing, of course, is it doesn't follow the stairs. So all you need to do is select that railing, U. Uh, okay, first guess. Rail style. Yeah, I got it right. Follow stairs. Boop. There you go. Now you take your ramp, U, and uh, uh, I don't want a handrail. Okay. Now I'm stripping it down. You got what I'm saying here now? Tab. You. Um, I want to be open. No rail. I don't want any. Uh, oh, I, I want a rail. I want a. Uh, I don't want a bottom rail. And I don't want. 
nulls and balusters, and I want the rail to be default. No. Top rail, select. Boy, I, I, obviously I don't do this very much. Molding. Chair rail? Is that what it was? Oh. Handrail. You nitwit. That one. Okay. There we go. Now you got this. Now, th what's so cool about doing it this way where the wall is, now all I have to do is come over here and turn, turn the, the uh, ramp layer off. Turn the ramp layer off. <laughs> you got your perfectly curved handrail. And with spiral stairs, they actually kind of uh, go in a 360 degree turn, cur cur uh, curve. And you, I, I could probably stretch this out a little bit further. But I don't think you can lap over itself. So if your spiral staircase goes in more than a 30, 360 degree curve, you need to make it in segments. And actually, I think what I would just do is I just do a half segment like this, turn it into a symbol, put it into place, and then I knew the, the change in height was four and a half feet. I just copy it, raise it four and a half feet, and rotate it around uh, 180 degrees. And then I'd have the, uh, all right, I'll do it. Tools, symbol, convert to symbol. I don't want to add to the library. OK. So new, uh, get last symbol. Put it right there. Now I want to copy this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to practice here. Oh, I guess I don't get my uh, W. Where's my W? So CAD point, place a point right there. Take this handrail. Uh, copy it. I want to go, uh, I want to raise it up. Uh, I think it was four foot six, which is 54 inches. And I want a copy of it. And I want to rotate it 180 degrees around the current point. You think I did it? No. You think I'm looking at the wrong picture? H. There it is. Check that out, brother. Check that out. Ho, 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 ho. There's your, there's your spiral stairs, man. Spiral. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's, that's a perfect hurt. Anyway, hey, I'm done. That was cool. That was cool, man. And instead of a bunch of seven degree segments, uh, you got just two 180 degree segments. And if I want one more because I have an extra, tr watch this one. Ah, can I do this? Uh, I don't know. I forget. If, if you need to go a little bit further, you'll just figure it out and do it. I, I'm done.